around the world, raw agents are dropping like flies. One dies in such a grisly motorbike accident that his head and body are laying on the road entirely disconnected. Who are you going to call? ACP Yashmardhan, of course. For those who haven't seen the first film, Yash is a Satkela Mumbai cop who can stop the bad guys from getting away by simply lifting up the rear end of their car. His arms are like a ball and chain. There's just no escape. This is actually the most convincing part of Force 2. I totally believe that John Abraham can lift a car or crush dozens of men with his bare hands even when he has a long nail embedded in his shoulder. Though I did wonder if the ACP had had his tetanus shot. It's the rest of the film that's difficult to process. Writers Parvez Sheikh and Jasmeet K. Reen resort to the age-old formula of mismatched partners. So the tough-talking, mildly unhinged ACP is forced to team up with a rule-following raw agent, KK, who turns out to be a woman. She likes preparation and thoughtful investigation. He describes his working style as gut feel, aggression, common sense. Gut feel, aggression, common sense. This is Mumbai police. Ka kaam karne ka Together, they must unravel the mystery before more agents are bumped off. Director Abhinay Deo starts out well enough by throwing us straight into the action. Several agents are killed before the opening credits end. It's breathlessly quick and instantly intriguing. But the excitement soon fades. Yash and KK are dispatched to Budapest, where an elaborate cat and mouse game begins. Force 2 has very little logic, which I have no problems with. I was ready for popcorn entertainment with a few good lines, snazzy visuals and the adrenaline of espionage. My beef with the film is that it just became a slog. Take the idea of the female raw agent as Yash's boss. It's terrific and had the potential for comedy and drama. But the friction fizzles out, mainly because KK is such a lame character. Sunakshi Sinha has proved that she can be an entirely convincing action star. But here she's saddled with being a dirty, timid woman who rarely takes the lead. KK's main job seems to be spelling out the obvious. So at one point, as KK and Yasha are driving furiously to save an agent, KK says something like, Agle agent ko bachane ko sirf 10 minute hain. We have to move fast. Or, after a huge setback, KK solemnly declares, This is bad, Yash. <laughs> we would have never guessed. Force 2 is the kind of film in which the villain, Shiv, played by Tahir Raj Bhaseen, plays the harmonica while bodies fly around him. The action sequences are elaborate and nicely choreographed, but they seem to run on endlessly. I got exhausted just watching John chase Tahir all over Budapest rooftops. Tahir is a compelling actor, but this character is both broad and underwritten. And incredibly, despite the cartoon level depth, this film wants to position itself as a serious statement on the unsung heroes of India. John powers through all of this, armed with his jaw-dropping muscles, limited acting skills and a ferocious sincerity. But it's really hard to care. I'm going with two stars. For more reviews like this, subscribe to Film Companion and for more videos, click here.